able to pass out the ball more. And I'm going to see what Bailey Odell does because Bailey, she is dangerous behind the three. So we'll see if they can get her the ball a lot this game. Speaking of Mo Kennard, there she is, the 5'9 junior in transitional play. You want to also, Tierra, we also want to keep our eyes on uh, the fact that, you know, the fatigue as far as uh, mm -hmm. the Huskies on the road, are they going to wear down early on in this first half? And there she is. One of the seniors, Bailey O'Dell, seems like the seniors had a conference call or had a conference uh, uh, chance to communicate with each other before the game and said, we're going to go out with a bang tonight, you know, with the seniors all to a hot and fast start offensively. And Sophie Taylor was able to get that still yeah. backing up. There's Jaden Pimentel, a freshman. She has been starting for the Cardinals, but the girls going, not around Chastity. You need to see if these girls can pull together and actually keep the momentum going with her on the bench. And Mo Kennard, she'll be one if you keep her in the game. Now I see Coach Donnie Finney for Houston Baptist. She has both of her big girls in. Hopefully, maybe she can stop, but you know, no stopping D'Angelo Mathis tonight. In front of her home fans and her family. Good skill there by Mathis. And Mathis's career high is 30, so most likely we'll see. Oh, there it is. She's tied her career high. Did an outstanding job knocking down the tray ball from deep down downtown for the Cardinals. And what can you say about Mathis? She just, she just lights out from every angle of the court. It tells me Coach Tick Price did a phenomenal job coaching up these guys. So the last time we saw the score was a tightly played game throughout the goal of victory for Lamar Cardinals against U, uh, UB, uh, HBU.